Okay. Settle down. We just have the new business, new constitutional amendments introduced here for the first time. These are amendable by the preliminary business meeting, unlike everything else pretty much we've dealt with. So, time limits. For D1, remote but real, I would set five minutes on it. Any objection? Yes. Kevin. I'm not objecting to the motion. I'm just to put it, I, I like the time limits. Uh, I like the, you know, the filling lights method. And I, I propose 10 minutes. Right. 10 minutes, five minutes are proposed. Andrew. Are you proposing a, f a time? No. Oh, then can you sit down? We'll oh, deal with sorry. that later. <laughs> <laughs> Any other times between five and ten minutes? Hearing none, those are the two proposals. Those in favour of ten minutes, please show. <coughs> those against? Ten minutes it is. Right. Could I have either Kate or Cliff to speak for this, please? Uh, no. no. I think. Be assertive, Andrew. Andrew Adams proposed we refer this one to committee to report back no. next year. Right. Would you care to speak to your motion to refer to committee, please? Um, I believe this is an important discussion we need to have. I believe. Mr. Chairman, the preliminary meeting, business meeting cannot refer anything beyond the main business meeting. Ah, true. Yes. You would have to bring that one up tomorrow. I didn't want to overpower the microphone. <laughs> oh, you will when I do. <laughs> Mr. Ch Mr. Chairman, <laughs> Mr. Chairman, uh, I do believe that the rules of the World Science Fiction Society business meeting do not allow the preliminary business meeting to postpone anything beyond the main business meeting. Am I right? You are right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Therefore, Andrew was out of Cliff. <laughs> Could we suspend the rules to do this? It would be possible, yes. It's a rule. We can suspend it. Sure. <laughs> it would take a two-thirds vote. Do you wish to make such a motion? Well. <laughs> Points of personal privilege is Dr. Adams, not Mr. Adams. Um, can you bring it up? No, I, 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 I will, I will bring, it, bring it up at the main meeting. There's no reason to. Uh, um, Thank there's you. no reason not to do it tomorrow. Right. Cliff or Kate, would you like to speak to this? Uh, Kent, what are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I move to postpone indefinitely. Second. Right. Right. We are, that is debatable, and if I remember rightly, has four minutes for debate. Yes. Separate. Um, would you care to speak in favour of postponing indefinitely? Sir. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I would. I uh, believe that this is a complex issue. I believe that, that I haven't had adequate time to figure it all out, uh, all the ramifications. I believe that we'd be much better, uh, either with a committee or without a committee, to have a year to think about it. And so I think we should postpone it indefinitely. Um, Kate, please, as one of the makers. Quite frankly, I agree. I would prefer that we not postpone it. Sorry, my name is Kate Secor, and I agree that the motion is probably missing some discussion. I moved it so that we could start the discussion. I would urge that we not postpone indefinitely, but that we do move it to committee tomorrow because that will force us to actually have the discussion instead of it going back onto the back burner and having to get moved again every year until we actually talk about it. Thank you, Kate. Anyone in favor of the motion to postpone indefinitely, please? Anyone wish to speak? Seeing none, anyone else against, against, wish to speak against the motion to postpone indefinitely? Ben. Ben Yellow, 
Uh, I generally agree with Kate's sentiment. I, I think that the idea is a reasonable one, but I do not believe that it can be done correctly without discussing it. And we can't appoint a committee by postponing indefinitely. Therefore, I would suggest that we defeat the motion to postpone indefinitely. And tomorrow, when this comes to the floor and can be sent to an appropriate committee, that we appoint such a committee. Thank you, Ben. Anybody else wish to speak to the motion to postpone indefinitely? Seeing, ah, Kevin. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Kevin Stanley. Mr. Chairman, I think this is a really bad idea in principle. And I can go into the merits of a motion on the motion postponed indefinitely, so it's okay for me to say so. I think we really don't want to go here. Because if we go here, we actually are heading down the path for creating a, uh, an elected body to run WSFIS separate from the business meeting. Thank you. Terry. My name is Terry Neal. Um, I am broadly in favor of things that open Worldcon to supporting members more than what we have now. And I think that this proposal does that. And I would like to see it thoroughly discussed um, and a, a very well thought out proposal brought before the business meeting that we can at that time decide whether we want to do this or not. So I would like to not postpone this and run it to committee tomorrow. Thank you, Terry. Anybody else wish to speak to the motion to postpone indefinitely? Seth? Actually, I have a parliamentary inquiry. Uh -huh. Seth Breidbart. If the motion to postpone indefinitely passes, would a motion to appoint a committee to study this topic and report next year still be in order? Good question. I will say yes to that on the grounds that it is a somewhat different, uh, on the grounds that it is a uh, general inquiry rather than this specific motion. So yeah, we could create a committee tomorrow to uh, consider the general question of remoteness to the business meeting separate from this motion. Anybody else wish to speak to the motion to postpone indefinitely? Seeing none, despite the lights, we shall vote on it. Those in favour of postponing indefinitely, please show. Those against, please show. That is certainly not two-thirds in favour of postponing indefinitely, so that falls. And the motion is back before us. Anybody else wish to speak to the main motion? The, it, this is D1, remote but real, uh, physical attendance at the business meeting and non-real-time slash remote participation. Cliff. Mr. Chairman, I believe this motion is not before the meeting. We merely set debate time and we de actually debate the underlying motion tomorrow. No. This is a new proposal. It can be debated and amended and rejected here. No, it can't be rejected. Yeah, it is the preliminary meeting. We can debate it. We can't reject it. You can't vote on it. Yep, you can certainly amend it. Right. Motions at hearing, like amend, refer. Warren to Buff. Uh, motion to suspend the rules and and refer this to committee. I'll second that. Okay. Um, I think we've spoken about committees. Does anybody wish to speak to the motion to suspend the rules and uh, refer? It's not debatable. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Beg pardon. <coughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Martin Pine, PYNE. Uh, can we get a clarification on the motion to suspend and refer to committee as to when that committee would be expected to report? It would have to be a committee to report next year. 